name is Sandra Gould and we've been in this annex for just over two months. Oh, really? Hi, and I'm John Gould. So far, so good, yeah. Uh, we're, we're really enjoying it. Um, as we said uh, uh, earlier, um, it's a bit of a work in progress at the moment. Inside is brilliant. Outside, uh, we're still working on it and uh, there's a lot of work due to be done and things we're waiting for, but I think um, as far as living here, it's brilliant. We're really, really enjoying it. I just, I, I think personally, um, uh, be, because, it, because it's been built as we wanted it, um, I think we're happy with the space. Uh, and I think from my own point of view, um, you know, we've got a really nice bedroom. You know, the bathroom is situated conveniently. We've got, we've got our storage facilities and we've got open space to, to sit in, lounging, cooking, eating. We have, you know, so it's a nice sense of space. Yeah, I mean, I was concerned about smells, you know, because obviously I had a separate kitchen and, and lounge. But no, it, it seems, you know, it seems to work well. I haven't, you know, I haven't thought, oh, oh I can smell my fried bacon. <laughs> oh, and it's warm. It's really warm. Yeah. Um, we, we decided that to go for underfloor heating as we, um, a little bit against some advice, but we, we're happy with it. It's working well at the moment and uh, we're comfortable, so it's good. Wow. That was, you know, that was the pro probably the prime mover uh, for coming here was the fact that, um, uh, like everybody else, we're not getting any younger now. We're, we're quite a long way away from our children, and there was the possibility to do something here. And also in the main house, um, my son, daughter-in-law, and my grandson lived. My grandson's five years old. Uh, we started to feel we were missing him growing up. Um, and also, um, with my daughter uh, being a, a full-time uh, teacher, uh, she's a deputy head in a local school, my son works for a major charity and has to travel, uh, sometimes they need extra help. So that's what we're here for. We're here to help and enjoy him growing up. Yes, it's, it's similar. I mean, my daughter-in-law said, look, we're not going to take, you know, sort of ask you all the time because you're down here to enjoy yourself. So, you know, it was a bit of both. I mean, yesterday we took him to school and, and brought him, but it's only one day a week and help out if we do, you know. But basically as well, it's a lovely area. We, they've lived in this area for um, seven years. So we know, we, we know it, you know, re, well, particularly well. So uh, we thought um, it's a lovely area. You can walk to the shops, there's half a dozen really good restaurants on, on the high street, you know, so you've got the best of both. You don't have to go very far, really. You don't even need a car. Yeah. I mean, bus service is good, you know, so. Mm. And the beach. And the nice, beach, nice yeah. Place. We haven't even been to the beach. I haven't been to the beach. <laughs> it's been too cold <laughs> for the beach first. So much. But uh, it, it has a very, very nice beach, which runs all the way, you know, from Bournemouth and from the pier, right the way through to Hengisbury Head. So. I haven't done a lot yet. I've been concentrating on other things. Uh, back back in Wales, I uh, I sang for nearly forty years with a with a large choir. Um, I don't think I'm going to find a Welsh choir down here, but <laughs> maybe I'll find something. And golf. I, um, I I've been searching out the golf courses, and I found a couple quite close by. But uh, it's been a bit too cold so far. But hopefully, in the next couple of months, we'll get some golf away and. Maybe some singing, but I'm not sure about that yet. I, I belong to a, a rock choir. Well, I was one in, in Bridgend, and uh, there's one quite close here as well. It's, well, it's, it's all over the country. I mean, you will have it up in, in the north as well. You know, it's, it's uh, very well, uh, well, there's loads, loads of them. So I do, you know, I, and this is the thing, it's just occupying yourself, really. Well, not more than occupying, enjoying yourself, you know. It was bespoke within your parameters. Um, it, it, when we started looking at, at developing on this on this piece of ground, 
Um, we, we looked at all sorts of different ways. We looked at, we looked at building ourselves and doing all sorts of things. And um, to be perfectly honest with you, what we, what we found was it, was it was much more economical for us to come to IHUS than to build it ourselves. That was the first thing we learned. Um, and, but I was able to design it, my, the interior myself. Um, so we've done, basically, we can't complain about it because it's what we wanted. Um, we're happy with it. Um, it faithfully followed what we wanted to do and it fitted in the parameters of, uh, of, of the IHOS um, um, system. So yeah, more than happy with it. Well, we did actually originally have a slightly bigger one, but um, the architects that work for IHOS said, mm, Bournemouth are a bit strange about sizing, yeah. you know, if you go down, um, so we, we just went down. I don't, I'm not, I'm not it sure was It wasn't much. Um, we, this, this is a 12 metre by 6.5 metre, and um, originally we looked at 12 and a half metres. Um, we were getting close to, to, to um, Bournemouth planners' limits, so we took the advice of IUS, um, your of your um, your planning consultants. It's so the one thing I said initially, although I'd been doing this myself for 60 years, um, I didn't want to do the planning myself. I'm uh, really glad I didn't do it. Um, it was done well, it, it went through very nicely, uh, and your consultants did an excellent job. I, you know, I saw everything that they submitted, and it was really good. So, yeah, pleased with that as well. Yeah, I, um, I say I've got a lot of experience on it. I'm really glad that I left this to, to your people who specialise in annexes. Um, it's been a nice learning curve as well, I've learned a lot of things. But um, yeah, excellent. When, when, my, when my son moved into this, uh, into the, this house with, this, with a very large plot, um, with my background, the first thing I thought was, ah, we could put a building in there. And I did suggest to him perhaps we could put a little bungalow or maybe a small house. And he was, uh, he, he said he wasn't, wouldn't be happy with uh, having another, you know, separating off and having another house. And then he came up with the idea sort of, why don't, you know, why don't you come here? And then we looked into, into the possibilities of extending that house and then we looked into the possibilities of building something here. And then we'll, as, 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 the, as the idea developed, that's when we, 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 we discovered annexes. I looked into it um, and we, um, well, Jeff, actually, the, uh, Jeff actually came up with the yeah, idea we, initially. Yeah, Our son the, came up with yeah, the idea. Yeah, came up with the idea of 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 an, of, of, of uh, um, prefabricated building, which is which is a good idea. Um, and then we we, we contacted um, we contacted IHUS and started chatting, and um, basically um, we started talking to Nigel, and he was very helpful, and uh, we we met him, and uh, yeah, we were we were happy with. Pretty, pretty much with what he had to say. Um, um, met him when he did the survey down here. Um, yeah, we were pleased. It was the annex was the ideal situation for us. Um, uh, constructionally, it, uh, the way it's built, uh, it's highly insulated. It's warm. It's comfortable. Um, it's above all maintenance free. There's no painting outside to be done. All important things when you get when you get to our, our edges, particularly if somebody like me who hates painting anyway. So um, yeah, me. Abs absolutely great outside. Everything everything is fine, um, and inside it's new and it's it's what we asked for, what we wanted. You know, so yeah. I I probably fussed a little bit too much um, because. Uh, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing, um, so I, yeah, I, I think I uh, um, I wanted to know what was going on. We, we managed to make a number of visits, and, and we we saw the um, we saw the construction team quite a lot. They were very helpful. Um, uh, 
they were excellent, actually. I, I managed to see most of the construction work that was done here. Uh, yeah, I was very pleased, very happy with it.